Greetings everyone, this is Elizabeth. Thank you for joining me today. Right now we are priming a canvas. This is a gallery wrapped one, so it has a larger border. I am just using an acrylic black gesso. I do coat it twice to get nice full coverage. That way there, when I use my expensive black matte color, it gets beautiful coverage. And we just hold it up to do those edges, set it down, let it dry, and then grab the black 3.0. This is by Stuart Simple. It is black, black, the maddest black I have ever seen. Mine is a little bit old. I bought it and then hoarded it. And so it's really thick but it still works beautifully and here i'm only doing the center so that we can see how black it is on the edges compared to the regular gesso and right here i slowed it down you see the gesso edges and then that matte black in the center as it starts to dry is just mm. if you like matte black this is the stuff and like i said it is a little bit expensive but for that perfect project it's going to be fabulous and so i finish covering the top with it and i do let this dry and i do go back in with this second coat and um you'll see when i start my second coat that i do spritz a little bit of water into it just to give it moving and it spreads out beautifully the second time around here i'm cleaning up my edges because i don't want the matte finish on my edges i want that shiny gesso color showing through so i just go through and cover up where the 3.0 has gone over the edge and there's the squirt of water and it <laughs> out. sorry about that noise i forgot to put my phone on do not disturb but this is going to be so great with this stencil texture paste that i purchased mm. All right, and there it is. The beautiful chartreuse stencil butter by the Crafters Workshop. And it is fabulous. I bought this before I got the Simon Hurley Lunar Paste, which is also fantastic. Definitely invest in some stencil butters, guys. It is great. There, I let it set over a few days. You can see I've even changed my nails by now. Um, it was way too hot in my craft room and so it sat there just cooking in the craft room all by itself. And you can see I, I scoop out a lot of texture paste. I want it nice and thick. I want it to stand off the canvas. So I just scoop it out <laughs> and I spread it with a super light hand. I am not scraping the board. I don't want it to scrape off. I want it to just stick and be happy and when I pull the stencil that will make my edges sharp and beautiful and you'll see here in a minute that I position my hands and I hold the stencil down so there's no movement and then I pull it straight up you can pull it at an angle you can pull it however you want just to get a nice smooth pull and you can see I missed in a couple of spots but it just, it does not detract from the beauty of this stencil butter. Again, this is the TCW, the Crafters Workshop, Chartreuse Stencil Butter. Now, you saw that I had a lot of paste and I could scrape it right back into a container, save it for later, but I was like, it's too beautiful, let me use it. I grabbed a piece of shimmer paper and just used all the excess. I did not have to go back in, I'm just, Scraping the excess right into the container. And then again, a nice little pull and shimmer on shimmer. Isn't that beautiful? And if you find a little boo-boo like I did there, I just scraped it off and it leaves a little bit of color, but for the most part, it's gone. And here we're doing the third transfer. There still seems to be quite a bit on the stencil so what i have done is i just laid it on a sheet of paper again another shimmer kind 
I've gotten a paintbrush. It's nice and dry. And I just smear all that. Sh <laughs> it is shimmery goodness. Let me tell you. You just smear that right into the stencil. And then you get a third use out of the same stencil with the same stuff you used at the beginning. It's really great. Economical. Um, you can do lots of goody, 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 crafty things with it. And here's the reveal. Ta-da! This will make a great card front. Just chop it down to size and it is good to go. I thank you all for joining me today and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.